what narcissists think of you when you finally leave. What does the narcissist think of you when you finally walk away? How does the narcissist feel when they realize you're done? When they realize you don't want to deal with them anymore? The narcissist sees you as an object and as an extension of them. They see you as something that exists to serve them and meet their needs. They see you as their property. And once they have been involved with you, they see it as though that's it for life. They see it as though you cannot just move on without them. As though there is no substitution or replacement for them. As though there is nothing else or no one else that can take their place. They see it as though you will never be able to find someone who can do what they've done for you. You will never find someone who is at their level or standard. You will never find someone as attractive or successful. As though they're just as good as it gets for you. As though you will never find anything better. You will never find anyone who is willing to do what they did for you. They think that they're the best. They think there is nothing greater than them. When they first met you, they were willing to do more than what most people do, to grab your attention and impress you, to stand out from the crowd, and to secure you as their source of supply. When they are seeking a target, there's almost nothing they won't do for you. They will act without hesitation because they see it as though if they do what you want, then they've got you. You're not going to go anywhere. And they have to stand out from the crowd by doing things that most people won't do on their first meeting. Narcissists understand how important first impressions are. And that is why they will do whatever it takes to catch your eye. To grab your attention. To get you to notice them. Because they see it as though if they don't do that, you're just going to end up with someone else. Someone who is more sudden and striking. Someone who is more exciting and impressive. And they realize that's what they have to be to capture your attention. If you leave the narcissist, they will be expecting you to return. In their minds, you won't be able to make it without them. You won't be able to survive. They would expect you to feel very lonely without them. They would expect you to miss them. And in many cases the narcissist wouldn't be wrong. Many victims do miss the narcissist. They do feel lonely without them. Because they're used to spending every second of their day with them. And when that just goes away, you're going to feel like something's wrong. You're going to feel like you're missing something. And the narcissist can already anticipate how you're going to feel based on their past experiences with other people. Because this isn't the first time that someone has left them 
and then felt lonely without them. This isn't the first time that someone has wanted to come back. They understand the effect they're having on people based on their past experiences. They expect you to react in the same way because they're very arrogant. They exaggerate their worth and importance. They often show an offensive attitude of superiority because they think they're better than everyone. They think there's no one like them. So when you think you can find better than them, they don't take you seriously. They think you're overestimating your qualities and abilities as though you don't deserve anything better than them. When you leave and you return to the narcissist, they don't care about you. They don't respect you. They just see you as a fool. They see you as someone who has made a very unwise decision. Someone who is very naive. Someone who lacks experience, wisdom and judgment. And they feel that you deserve to be mistreated. Because they already know that they're no good. They already know that they lack good intentions and that they're only going to cause nothing but harm to you. And if you can't see that, they just see you as a fool. Someone who is blindly entering a dangerous or unfavorable situation. Someone who is easy to take advantage of. Someone who deserves to be abused. Because in their minds, anyone who has any desire or interest in being around them can't be anything good. They can't be anything of value. If you were so great, you wouldn't want to be around them. You wouldn't have any interest in them. Because deep down they feel completely worthless and insignificant. They act superior and grandiose. But that's not how they really see themselves. It's just to compensate for how they really feel. So when you come around them. They're looking down on you. Because they know they're not deserving of value or appreciation. They know they're not deserving of even being around you. Which is why if you were to leave and never come back. They would see it as an insult. Because when you're not around them. That's when they realize your true value. And it reminds them that they are not deserving of true value. It triggers them to reflect on how they really feel about themselves. It triggers a narcissistic injury. Which is then followed by narcissistic rage. Because it's hurt their ego. It's crushed their fragile sense of self-esteem and self-importance. And then they see themselves as they really are. You're gone. So they can no longer project anything onto you. So it stays with them. 
they're forced to deal with it. They get mad because they realise that you can see who they really are. If you could see the real them, you would realise that they're not even worth anything. They're not even worth your time, energy or money. You wouldn't want to sit down and have a conversation with them. You wouldn't want to spend any time with them. You just wouldn't want to have anything to do with them. And when you finally walk away, they begin to realise that they were never deserving of your time. They might try to get you back, but it's not because they care about you. It's not because they miss you. It's because they're trying to repair the damage that was done to their self-esteem and self-importance. It has nothing to do with you as a person. They're just using you to feel better about themselves. And they know what they're doing. When they're trying to lure you back in. They know that they're playing a game. They know that they're lying to you. They know that they're manipulating you. It was a game right from day one. And they just saw you as a fool. Someone who was too stupid to realise what was really going on. And because you didn't catch on, they believed that you deserved everything they did to you. It was just a game. It was just something they engaged in for amusement and fun. And it's only when you go no contact. And you cut them out of your life completely. That they finally realise that you're not stupid. They see it as though you've solved the puzzle. You finally figured it out. You finally see who they really are. They just see it as though you've ruined their game. The fun is over. When the narcissist does all of these horrible things to you and you stay loyal and committed to them and you abide by their rules and preferences they're laughing at you behind your back. Because they've managed to trick you into giving them everything they don't even deserve. Because to them it's just a game. It's just a puzzle. And if you can't figure it out. They think you deserve it. They think you deserve everything they're doing to you. Because in their minds you're stupid. And if you were anything great. You wouldn't be around them. You would have figured it out a long time ago. It's like they gave you a puzzle and you're spending all of your time trying to put the pieces together trying to figure things out while you're accommodating them and being at their beck and call 
being responsive to the slightest request. But after so much time has gone by, you begin to realize that some of the pieces are missing and they don't even have the missing pieces because this is a game that was never meant to be completed. And when you even get close to figuring it out, they will take off on you and leave you with the unfinished puzzle. They will leave you trying to figure things out because they made up these rules to benefit them. It had nothing to do with you. And they pre-planned what they were going to do right from the beginning. The game was rigged right from the start. You were manipulated and controlled by deceptive and dishonest means. Everything was fixed to benefit them. You were being fair and honest. But they already had the game rigged. So you had lost before you had even begun. Because they had all the rules and regulations to benefit them. But they expect you to figure this out before you put in all of your time and energy. And if you were fortunate enough to figure this out earlier in the game, they think you're smart because you didn't stick around. You chose to move on. But then they're still lurking around, waiting for someone else to come around. Someone who will be more susceptible to the manipulation. Someone who won't figure it out so quickly. Someone who will unknowingly get involved in these difficult and confusing situations. Someone who will get entangled in another one of the narcissist's plans or arrangements. Because if you don't figure this out early on, they see it as though you deserve all the mistreatment. You deserve everything you're getting from them. Because you should have been smart enough to figure this out right from the start. 